What's up guys, I'm Hendo, and today I'm making the Cocktail of Fire Breath based on the potion from Dungeons and Dragons. Every month I make a different prop and cocktail based on a different potion from D&D. And this is the fifth one. We're gonna use fire whiskey as a base and actual fire may or may not be involved. I'm gonna cover the lore behind this potion in D&D as well as the ingredients and the recipe, so let's get started. The Potion of Fire Breath is an uncommon potion that lets you breathe fire three times or for up to an hour, whichever comes first. You can exhale it up to 30 feet for 4d6 fire damage on a failed dexterity save. The potion is also orange and smoky. There are a lot of practical uses for this potion since it deals a good amount of damage and has some range. You might also be able to use it to convince somebody that you're a disguised dragonborn. But anyway, since this potion is orange and fiery, I'm of course gonna use fire whiskey. I'm gonna go with fireball because it's excellent. Like, if you've never had Dr. Fireball, it's one of the best cocktails ever. It's Fireball and Dr. Pepper, you need to have some. That's not what I'm gonna use for this potion, but like, pour yourself a little on the side. Okay, okay, let's make this cocktail. Here are all of our ingredients. First up, of course, is Fireball. There are a lot of different types of fire or cinnamon whiskeys out there, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with Fireball because I feel like it's really tasty for how affordable it is. Hello, old friend. We're also gonna add some apple juice. Apple complements cinnamon really, really well, and we're actually gonna go for a sort of apple pie taste. We're also gonna use vanilla vodka. This is what's gonna make our cocktail taste more like apple pie and less like just cinnamon apple juice. I've gone with the brand Stoliknaya, or or Stolichnaya. I think it's Stolichnaya. The brand is really highly recommended and it smells and tastes amazing. If you're looking to make a sort of virgin version of this cocktail, you can go ahead and try a vanilla cream soda or something like vanilla coke. We're also gonna use some ground cinnamon. If you want a boozier beverage, you can actually just add more fireball, but I'm gonna balance mine out with just a pinch of cinnamon instead. You'll also need some brown sugar. This is how we're gonna garnish the rim. And for some reason, it really locks in that apple pie taste. I think it's like, it makes it like a sugary, crunchy crust. And also, brown sugar is amazing, so it should be in everything. I'm also gonna garnish with some cinnamon sticks. Since this is a potion of fire breath, I also wanna add some fire tricks to it. Please don't play with fire. It's not a good idea in real life or definitely not in D&D, um, so like, be careful. So I'm gonna try a couple different fire tricks. One is the good tried and true orange peel trick, and another one is soaking cinnamon sticks. And finally, if you really wanna spice up this drink, you can also serve some apple slices soaked in a little bit of whiskey and cinnamon too. And of course, you'll also need a shaker, a chilled glass, and some ice. So let's start the recipe. So the first thing we're gonna do is rim our glass. I recommend using the vanilla vodka in order to have the rim steak, but you can obviously use water or apple juice, whatever you like. I think that the vanilla goes really well with the sugar and adds to the whole apple pie thing. I'm using two kinds of brown sugar, one that's fine and one that's a little bit grainier. That's mostly for the aesthetic of the video, but definitely you only need one type of brown sugar. I just really like brown sugar. Oh, it smells so good. And now there's all this extra brown sugar that I'll have to eat, oh no. Now that the glass is rimmed, I'm gonna go ahead and chill it. And now that that's chilling, we can go ahead and mix our drink. I'm gonna start with two and a half ounces of the vanilla vodka. I'm just recycling what I used to rim the glass. Also, we're gonna be making enough for two people. Next up is two ounces of Fireball. And now we're adding a bunch of apple juice. We're gonna go with eight ounces. Now just a pinch of ground cinnamon. And all that's left is to add ice and shake. And now we'll just pour it into our glass. 
so this is obviously super heckin' cute all on its own. We're gonna go ahead and garnish it with one of our whiskey-soaked cinnamon sticks. But like I said, since this is a potion of fire breathing, I do want to do a little fire trick, and there's one that's really easy and pretty safe. But remember that fire is always a bit of a gamble, both in D&D and in real life, so please be careful. This trick involves a simple orange. All you have to do is cut a little nice round part of the rind. Try not to get any of the meaty part of the orange, whatever that's called. Once you have your rind, you're gonna go ahead and hold it close to the flame. This is gonna help bring some of those oils in the peel closer to the surface. Then when you're ready to serve, you just go ahead and hold the flame over the cocktail and then squeeze the peel. And it produces a really cool little flame. And you can go ahead and drop that peel into the cocktail too. And now it's extra cute. Ooh. This is the best one so far, in my opinion. I like whiskey, but like, objectively, this is amazing. Whoop whoop! Now we have a little cocktail of fire breath. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get to enjoy this cocktail with your online party or just at home hanging out during quarantine. If you want to see how I made the prop version of my Potion of Fire Breath, you can check out that video too. Next month I'll be doing a prop and cocktail based on the Potion of Elemental Resistance, but if you have ideas for other potions to make or just want to share a story about your D&D party, let me know down in the comments. I really like reading them. Sometimes I get ideas for the campaigns I'm in. But anyway, thanks for watching and roll high!